Hi, this is Steve from Codename One. I just want to show off our new Codename One initializer tool uh, that allows you to build iOS and Android apps and actually a whole lot of other platforms. Uh, and it'll get you started with just uh, the touch of a button. So to get going, just go to this website, start.codename1.com, and there's three fields you got to fill in. So you choose which template you want to use. Right now, uh, we've got the Java template and the Kotlin template, so choose which language you prefer. I'm going to go with Java for now. The package field is uh, going to be used for the app ID. That's when you upload it to the Play Store and the iOS Store. This will be used as part of the app ID. So it can be a little bit hard to change later on. Uh, try to put some thought into this one. Uh, and then there's the main class name which is the starting point for your app. It'll be inside that the package you specified here, and it's where your start method and stop method will go. And click download. This is going to take probably about five seconds. And then it'll give me an option to save a zip file of a generated project. And this is going to be a Maven project. So I can open this up. I'll unzip it. And I can use it from the command line in Maven, or what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to open it up in IntelliJ because IntelliJ speaks Maven. So the first thing once I get it open is let's just make sure it runs. So the default option here is the run in simulator. While it's loading there, you can see some of the other build options it has. I'm going to talk about all these in a moment. The first time it builds, it'll take a little bit longer because it's going to have to download a bunch of Maven dependencies. There we go. And there's our app. Okay. So let's talk about some of these build options that we have here. So we'll go to the configuration menu and let's start with the local builds. So these are the builds you can build right on your machine. Uh, the easiest default one is you can actually build your app as a cross-platform desktop app. This will be built as an executable jar and any system that runs Java SE, Linux, Mac, Windows, can run that. Uh, the Xcode iOS project, this is going to require that you have a Mac and uh, Xcode installed. And this option will generate an Xcode project that is uh, purely native, and you can build it uh, to get your finished app on device. This option similarly will build an Android Studio project. Uh, that you can build an Android Studio. This requires that you have Android Studio installed on your machine. So let's take a look at the build server options. So Codename One, uh, one of the nice and unique things about the Codename One ecosystem is you don't need to have all of the native development tools installed on your system. And you don't need a Mac to build, for example, for iOS, because we provide a build server. Uh, if I select one of these options, what it'll do is it'll uh, first compile it uh, down to a jar, send it off to the build server, and the build server will uh, do all the behind the scenes work to generate the Android project in this case and actually build it as an Android app. And then you get to download the finished product as an APK or uh, the, uh, the app bundle that they, uh, they're switching to. Uh, we keep up the, uh, the latest build tools on the server. Similarly with the iOS options, uh, all the dirty work happens on the server. You press this button and it sends back an iOS app that you can install on device or submit to the iOS app store. Uh, the JavaScript build option is, uh, it uses TVM under the covers to generate a uh, pure JavaScript web app. Uh, it, uh, it doesn't require any plugins or extensions. This option requires a Codename One subscription of enterprise level or higher. Uh, the other options are available for free with a free Codename One subscription. Um, Mac and Windows desktop builds, uh, they are Java SE, but they package it as uh, the actual apps. So this desktop build will generate a Mac app and it'll also generate a DMG or PKG, whatever you're looking for. Uh, in the format that you can upload to the Mac App Store. Windows desktop builds uh, similarly will give you an EXE that, uh, and installer that you can install on uh, Windows machines. The UWP, Windows device build, will generate a, uh, a 
Windows Phone or Windows 10 uh, Universal Windows Platform app. Uh, the special thing about that is that it can be uploaded to the Windows App Store. And then there's a few options under Tools that I'm going to skip over for now. I just want to take a look at the code just to give you an idea. This is a multi-module Maven project. So there's uh, uh, the wrapper uh, project is sort of the, the wrapper module, the root module, and then it's got separate modules that contains code that's specific to each platform. Now most of the time you don't need to worry about the platform specific code. That's just if you're writing native interfaces. Most of your code is going to go inside this common module. So if we go inside there and uh, expand down, you'll see we've got a CSS folder where your theme.css file goes, where you can add uh, CSS info, and then the Java folder is where your Java files go. So let's take a look at the nuts and bolts of this app. This app. This is about the simplest app you can write. It's the Hello World app. Let's add uh, a button to this to make it a little bit of in, a little bit interactive. Not very creative on the button labels, and we'll add an action listener. make the button do something. And let's uh, show a dialogue. Uh, okay, you notice the API is uh, a little bit reminiscent of Swing, uh, if you're familiar with Swing. Okay, well let's run this. This tutorial is not meant to uh, show you the beginnings of uh, Codename 1. I just want to give you a little taste of where you would add the code. Oh, you know what I did? I forgot to add the button to the form. So we go. There we go. I made my button, didn't add it to the form, so it's not going to show up. So adding it to my form. I should now see my little hello click me button. And I'll click that and it'll pop up with my dialog. And we're we've got a working app. So this is the limit of what I wanted to show in this demo. Uh, check out some of the other videos to see uh, what it looks like to actually generate an Xcode project or generate the Android Studio project or, uh, or send a project to the build server. Thanks for watching and happy coding.